This slide shows the different layers of a 22 kV single core XLP cable. The innermost layer is the conductor for carrying the current. It is either copper or sometimes aluminium. The use of aluminium is to reduce the weight of the cable. The second layer is semiconducting and it is neither a good conductor or a good insulator. The purpose of the semiconducting layer is to provide a gradual electrical transition from a good conductor to a good insulator. This semiconducting layer is sandwiched between the copper and the XLPE insulation. The third layer is the XLPE insulation. XLPE has a voltage withstand of about 35 to 50 kV per mm. As a reference, air is about 3 kV per mm. The fourth layer is another semiconducting layer. The purpose is also to provide a gradual electrical transition from the insulating state of the XLPE to the conducting state of the copper screen. This semiconducting layer is sandwiched between the XLPE and the copper screen. The fifth layer is the copper screen, which must be connected to ground. This will result in the uniform distribution of voltage within the XLP insulation. The copper screen is in the form of overlapping copper tape. The sixth layer is steel wire armor. This is for mechanical protection for the cable. The last layer is the PVC outer sheath. This is to prevent water ingress into the cable. The left picture shows the use of a grounded copper screen to ensure the uniform distribution of voltage within the thickness of the XLP insulation. There is no localized area of the insulation where the voltage is not uniformly distributed. The right picture shows the same cable but with the copper screen not connected to ground. There are certain regions of the insulation where the voltage distribution is not uniform and may exceed the voltage capability of the insulation. The cable will eventually fail.